And new at 6 o'clock, the United Center parking lot became the site of a donation drive today. All day people dropped off clothes, shoes, and other items for Afghan families who are relocating here to the U.S. Chris Coffey has more. Thousands of refugees fled Afghanistan with just the clothes on their backs. Now many are seeking a new beginning in the United States. And Americans are rushing to help meet their basic needs. Those folks, they, they serve with us overseas. Uh, they, they risked a, a lot of their livelihood, uh, put themselves in danger just to help us, help them. So now we have the opportunity to help them come to America and, and start a new life. Today at the United Center, volunteers of Team Rubicon, including many veterans, collected clothes, diapers, and other essential items for the refugees. Those arriving in the U.S. include interpreters and others who assisted the U.S. military. Many of us uh, that were in uniform uh, just view them as an extended part of our family, our military family, you know, um, and, and we're looking forward to continue helping them the way they helped us. Army veteran Edward Schoenlieber served in Iraq and Afghanistan. This is a humanitarian crisis and Team Rubicon's a humanitarian organization. And it feels great to continue the mission that I started almost 20 years ago. While military transports out of Afghanistan have ended, some Americans and Afghans who assisted the U.S. are waiting for charter planes to take off. Nobody's moving and uh, things are getting more and more tense and pressurized. NBC5 recently told you about Ascend Athletics, a nonprofit that teaches leadership skills and mountain climbing to teen girls in Afghanistan. Some of their members are still stranded. Our government knows the right levers to pull to convince people inside the Taliban to do the right thing and let these planes fly. Meanwhile, Team Rubicon says donation drives like this one in Chicago will help ease the transition for arriving Afghans. These donations are expected to be sent to U.S. military bases where refugees from Afghanistan are currently staying. Meanwhile, here in the Chicago area, refugees from Afghanistan may be arriving in the weeks ahead. At the United Center, Chris Coffey, NBC5 News.